spoke for about five minutes and it wasn't recording. Let's start again. Welcome to a brand new studio vlog. I have forgotten everything I just said, but I'm gonna try and piece it back together. So I have just finished recording a draw with me video. Let me show you what I drew. Look how cute this sushi gang is. And you get so many stickers. So this is gonna be available in my shop really soon. I'm so happy with how this turned out. There's even like little wasabi guys. The most exciting part about this is that I drew that with my brand new Procreate brush set. So I've been working on this for a little while and I've been playing with the brushes and making sure they're perfect before I release it. So it's getting released this month and I've created six Procreate brushes. And I'm gonna tell you their names because I spent a really long time thinking of them. We've got the Silky Sketch, the Bristly Brush, Prickly Pen, the Lacy Line, the Toothy Texture, and the Bold Block. If that is not alliteration at its finest, I don't know what is because I'm very proud of those names. So eventually I'm gonna be adding them to Gumroad for $6. You can download them and keep them. But for the time being, I'm gonna add them to my Patreon in the $6 tier. You also get access to all my past content on Patreon. There's hours and hours worth of Zoom calls, live streams, exclusive videos, podcasts, just so many things but you also get the brush pack. But for now, something really exciting for this studio vlog is that I am about to use, finally, my heat press. I have been putting this off for the longest time, mainly because like Derek was unwell and then I was moving studios and just one thing after another was happening. I feel like it's gotten to the point where I'm just scared of using it now because I've built up in my head that it's this massive task. I need to set up the sublimation printer, the heat press, everything like that. So um, that is my task today. And the reason why is because it is goodie box month over on Patreon. So every other month I send a goodie box this month it is all things 70s and I am in love with everything so far. I'm really, really excited to show you that is what this vlog is going to be about. As of this recording date, there are only two UK spots left and four international. I'm going to be making an exclusive handmade pencil case. I've designed the fabric and I'm adding a retro zip and lining. So. Stick around to see that, see how it goes with the heat press. So let's go set up my brand new sublimation printer. I think this is a hair tied up situation. Okay, you know I mean business right now. Now, I absolutely love my EcoTank 7750 for printing stickers and art prints and things, but I needed a separate printer for my sublimation because you have to put in separate sublimation ink. 
So although this isn't a sublimation printer, it's gonna be my dedicated sublimation printer because I'll be putting in my own inks. I bought Sublinova, which is dye sublimation ink, and I'm gonna insert this into the Epson EcoTank instead of the Epson ink. I also bought some little syringes to make it a bit easier because the Epson inks, you tip them in, hopefully I can get it to fill with these little syringes. Just to point out, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've done a huge amount of research, but it's still pretty daunting. So I'm gonna start with the black. It's like a proper needle. So we're off to a very good start. I can't open it. Let me just stab it. Oh, that's satisfying. Okay, so the printer is initialising, so I just wanted to chat quickly about the paper. So you have to have special sublimation paper, and I did a lot of research into the best paper, inks. Now the inks were really tricky because I'm in the UK and pretty much every video I found on YouTube recommending inks was American and I couldn't get those inks. So. I really hope the inks work. I will leave them in the description below. And I went for this sublimation paper, A sub. It's 100 sheets. I can't remember how much it was, but again, I'll leave a link and I'll also let you know the results. I'm going to do a lot of tests and I'll let you know my journey so you can see what works for you. And hopefully, I'll be adding so many great new products to my shop. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm actually finally doing it. So while that's heating up, I'll just show you. I bought this fabric for the pencil cases. So a lot of polyester fabric is really thin. It, it kind of looks like a bed sheet. So it's that kind of really lightweight fabric. And for a pencil case, I wanted something with more structure. So I found this, it's like a linen lookalike fabric and it's 100% polyester, it's thick, it's durable, and I think it'll be perfect for a pencil case. Yeah, it's still got that thick weave, hoping it won't look so synthetic, it gives it a more natural look. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with this so far. I hope that the print comes out nicely. I'll leave a link in the description below. Hopefully it works. So I'm very aware that I don't want this to be a tutorial video because I don't know what I'm doing yet, so I don't really want to tell you all the steps when I'm still figuring it out. So I'm going to play around with it and come back to you, show you the results, and then if I can nail this, then hopefully I'll be able to do a full tutorial video. So a company called FlexiSpot reached out to me and asked if they could gift me one of their height adjustable desks. Now I get companies reaching out to me every single day and I only ever say yes to the companies that I think are gonna be a really great match for my business and my audience. And when I looked at their desk, I just knew this was gonna be an amazing addition to the studio. The desks I've got at the moment aren't particularly sturdy and whenever I'm filming on them, the table shakes, which makes my camera shake or my sewing machine and they've just not been that ideal. So when I looked at this desk and saw that it had a really strong metal frame, I jumped at the opportunity. So I really just wanted to say thank you so much to FlexiSpot and if you want to get yourself this exact desk, check the link in the description below. This has a bamboo top and a white metal frame. It is height adjustable, you can save the settings. So if you get the perfect height, you just save that height and then it'll always store it. It's really amazing and I am so, so fortunate that a company like this wants to gift me this product because creatives, other content creators, 
sitting down at a desk all day is not good and I love that it's height adjustable at the touch of a button. Okay, let's take a closer look. So you can raise it as much as you want. It goes really, really high. So if you're tall, not like me, it also comes with like cable ties to hide the wires. Um, I think I need to readjust them a little bit. What you can do is save the height. So let's say I want to set the height here. I click M and then I set it to number three, which means whenever I press number three, it will do it to this height automatically. So for example, I've already saved some settings on number one and number two. So let's try number one, which is my standing height. I am so impressed. Thank you so much to FlexiSpot for gifting this amazing desk to me. I'm so impressed. Now let's get back into the vlog. Good morning. So it's all go in the studio today. I'm really busy making things for the goodie boxes. I've been test printing the pencil case. I'm now making some holographic stickers. I've never done that before, so that's exciting. And I just popped on because the art prints have arrived and my collectible card. And I was halfway through opening it as I was walking up the stairs and I thought, no, be patient, film for the vlog. So here we are. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. So I feel like collectible card number one, I feel like I ran out of it quite quickly. I only ordered a hundred and I used those like in a couple of months. So I ordered double of this so that it lasted a little bit longer. So I feel like this way it would be good to maybe do them quarterly. So if someone orders from the shop each season, say, then they get all of the collectible cards rather than just keep getting a repeat of the same card. Um, and I love this one. I was going through a bit of an artist identity crisis, so that is where this one is inspired from. And also I love sushi, so. And then these, oh my goodness, they have come out perfect. I love the colors. I just, I just don't think the camera does justice. It's not really a design that I've ever done before, but I had so much fun making these. And I felt like less was more. Like the simplicity of the design was actually really, um, really satisfying. I mean, I just love it. And it's so 70s. And I think because each box is getting three art prints and they are laminated, so they're really silky soft. And then I think my goodie box is curated. So, um, oh, so far in every box, I've added a little sweet treat. So for my Japanese one, I added some Japanese sweets. I'm adding curly whirlies. These are very 70s, very popular in the 70s. So I've got like 50 curly whirlies here. I'm really excited for my international patrons to try these because I don't know if they'll have these curly whirlies. They're quite a specific chocolate. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I do not feel like I've had a very productive day. I think this is the first day in the studio that I felt like I haven't really achieved anything, even though I've been working. And I think I'm just not in a creative mood. And it's really hard to create products when you're not feeling creative. I think because I arrived a bit later than I normally do, I normally get here quite early and I'm kind of raring to go for the day. Whereas today was a bit of a slower start and the whole day was slow. So fresh start tomorrow. I'm gonna get here early and yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. I shall speak to you tomorrow. So I'm giving up on holographic sticker paper. It's just not working. The cut lines aren't getting recognized on Cricut. I've tried adding scotch tape. I've tried all sorts. It's just not working. And it's a real shame because they look so good. I'm so pleased with how they look on holographic paper. 
But yeah, it's not working. And the other problem is when I add the um, the vinyl paper, I keep getting big bubbles and it doesn't seem to happen when I add it to my semi-gloss paper, but with the holographic, it seems to be, yeah, creating a mess. Like these I just cut out myself by hand, but I don't have time to do that. So I think if I go for holographic stickers, I'll have to get them manufactured. I'm actually so happy with how these have turned out. I really like the dark pink background and I think it looks really good with the collectible card. Yeah, I'm really happy. I just really wanted to make them holographic. Look how cute that is. And it kind of ties in with my new sushi sticker sheet. Okay, I think I have barely picked up the camera this week. I am so sorry, I have been neglecting my vlog duties, but I've been so busy just trying to finalize everything in the goodie boxes. I took on quite a lot this month and I really think it's paid off. I am so happy with how the pencil case has turned out and it's really, I feel like it's a really special product. Um, it's taking me a long time to make them, even when I'm setting up a production line. And I think by the time this video goes out, the, the month will have ended. I'm really sorry. My plan is to do it so that I'm like a month ahead, so that when I vlog out, when I film all about the goodie boxes, I want you guys on YouTube to then be able to have chance to actually get one because I tend to talk about it more over on Instagram. So if you don't want to miss out, head over and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description below. And yeah, let me show you the new pencil case. So I've got everything assembled because I was just doing a little reel about it. And this is the pencil case. This is the front and this is the back with a bit of thread on it. And these are the retro zips. So I've got three colors. I've got like a mustard yellow, a dark green, like a forest green and a burgundy, all very 70s colors. And they're all fully lined. Let me show you the inside. Okay, so on that very happy note, I am gonna end the studio vlog here. I really feel like I've been filming just all over the place. I really need to get back into a rhythm with filming and editing. I think what I'm going to do is set aside like solid days that are dedicated to editing, uploading, because I would just love to do it once a week. I really want to get back into it. It's just so difficult. I wish I could do this full time, but having Freddie, it's just, just not possible. I think I'm achieving things, especially for being part time. I think I'm really pleased with how the business is growing and yeah, I'm excited to see what's to come. So. I'm gonna end the vlog like I just said I would. Don't forget to hit that big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like this video. And I'm gonna go. I shall see you next time for another studio vlog. Okay, bye guys. Oh, that didn't work. I thought it would be a really cool transition. Okay, bye.